everyone! Welcome to my April favorites. And if you're new to this channel, hello, my name is Jessie. I make all kinds of videos. I like Disney, I like fashion, I like beauty videos. I do all kinds of stuff, so feel free to subscribe if you are not. And continue watching to find out my favorites for this month. So first things first, I'm going to grab this drink right here because it is mighty tasty. This is my favorite drink of the month. These are called Celsius and they are calorie reducing drinks. Um, basically, I love energy drinks. I really like Monster and Rip It and all of those things that are very, very bad for you. But these are really good. Um, and I also like another one that's the V8 Peach Juice. Um, that's really good as well, but I don't have any more of those cans, so I'm showing you the Celsius one here, which has no sugar, no aspartame, very low sodium. It has, let's see, 10 milligrams of sodium, no fructose corn syrup, and no artificial colors or flavors, and it actually tastes really, really good. This one is like a peach mango with green tea. Tasty! And... It doesn't have that like aftertaste of taurine, which is usually in Monster or other energy drinks where you're kind of like, ugh, afterwards. So it's got a good aftertaste and it basically gives you energy without having all of the bad stuff for you. So I really like these. And it also says that it increases metabolism, provides healthy energy, helps reduce body fat, and improves endurance. la -ti da Anyways, there's this drink. So... Feel free to uh, check those out next time you're in the store if you're looking for a pick-me-up that is a bit of a healthier option. Next up, I have this, which you guys may have seen if you watched my what I got for my birthday haul. I got this purse right here from Nathan. It is I Love Lucy. And I absolutely love it. It's a smaller bag, but it has my I Love Lucy wallet on the inside. And this is the teeny tiny little coin purse, which is adorable. And I can put all of my loose change in here. So there is that. Very, very excited to have that around in my collection. I absolutely love it. I've used it pretty much every day since I've gotten it. Uh, next up, I have Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love dry shampoo. I know every YouTuber talks about it, but I really do like it. Um, I've tried a lot of different brands, and I've got to say, Batiste is still one of my number one choices. I'm not sponsored by them. I pay my own money to get these. This can has just a teeny tiny bit left, but I absolutely love them. This one is in Coconut and Exotic Tropical, and I especially like this one because it not only gives me really nice volume, it smells really good, and because I have white blonde hair, this adds a kind of a white residue, which makes it look like my roots aren't as dark. So I really appreciate this dry shampoo. If you do have darker hair, uh, you're definitely gonna have to try to make sure you blend it a little more and get it just under the roots. But for me, I can just spray this over and it's like instant nice effect for the roots and a lift, so love this stuff. Highly recommend it. Next, I have this piece right here. This is a statement necklace that is falling. I was trying to make it all nice and fancy and show you, but there it is. It's got like this lighter rosy pink color with little speckles throughout it and then the little crystals in the center. It's absolutely gorgeous. This I picked up, I believe, from Forever 21. Um, and I just think it's a really, really cute necklace. I like it a lot. Nice little statement piece. And I've gotten a lot of compliments every time I've worn this. So that's always a plus when you're getting a new necklace, right? I should say so. <laughs> on the rare occasion that I take my choker necklace off and actually put on something fancy. But, you know. Chokers from Claire's if you're curious. Next, I have these pair of shoes, which I got as a birthday present for myself, and you've probably already seen these. They have these awesome glitter sparkles on the back. Bling, bling, ka-ching, ka-ching. And they are a chic black heel from Steve Madden. And very, very comfortable shoes. As far as high heels go, super, super comfortable shoes. Next, I have my Hello Beautiful candle from Bath & Body Works, which just smells absolutely amazing. This has 
white gardenia, jasmine petals, and pink nectarine. Holy cow, I have this in the lotion as well. I want to get the spray. I want to buy like five more of this candle. I'm trying not to burn this one as much, as well as my New York one, which you guys may have seen from my New York haul, but this just smells so good. I just leave the lid off and my house kind of smells like it. And I want to burn it, but I know I'll run out and then I'll be sad, but I've been burning it quite a bit anyway. And I just like to smell it. It smells so good. So there's that. Then I have a fashion piece, and I'm sorry, these aren't really in any order. There's just a pile here, so I'm picking stuff off of it. These shorts are from Gap, and I'm not a huge fan of Gap clothing. I've got to be honest. There's not many things that I own from them, but recently they have been doing super, super well. These are the sexy boyfriend shorts. Ooh! And uh, they're extra long, which is nice because I really am not a fan of short shorts riding up on you. It's obnoxious. I like my shorts to be long. They don't necessarily have to be Bermuda shorts long. <laughs> See what I did there? I live in Bermuda. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, they don't have to be super duper long, but I like them to be a bit longer. And especially... And I really like these ones. I think they're really nice and comfortable. And it's not very often I find a white pair that I like that fits well. So, definitely loving those. Then, I have a really random item here, but I found this little guy, and he's super cute. It's a Dumbo plushie, and I don't know if he is from the Disney store or not. Is he? No, he is from Kohl's, funny enough. But, um, yeah, it's a little Dumbo, and he's just kind of on display buy all of my clothes in my closet because I thought he was too cute to pass up. So I have a little Dumbo and yeah, I just think he's pretty awesome. Yay! Moving right along, we have my bag. This is the Ted Baker London bag and it is beautiful. It has kind of this black leather crocodile print absolutely gorgeous and I have showed this in one of my videos as well I think so if you've already seen it sorry but it's been my favorite it's been going around places with me it has the T right here in the front with the logo Ted Baker and it's super bright outside so I'm sorry opens up like this and then on the inside it has this really cool flowery material, which is kind of like a dark blue and a gray. It's really, really pretty. It's got one pocket right here, like the smaller one, and then it's got the sides where you can put like pens or your phone or whatever. Um, I just think it's awesome. I really like how roomy it is. It's very spacious. It fits a lot in this. Um, I don't currently have all of my items in here because I cleaned it out, but if you would like to see what's in my bag eventually with this bag, you can let me know. Now we're going to go into a bit of makeup uh, beauty items. So first I have the L'Oreal Julianne nail polish. This is gorgeous. It's the rosy pink that is on my nails today. And this has been on probably a week and a half so it has chipped a little bit. Sorry if you don't like chipped nails. But it lasted really really well. Um, I just used a basic polish. See? Um, on the top and like a clear coat that's what I'm trying to say I use that on the top and most of them have held up really quite well so I love the color I need to redo them probably after I do this video but yeah I would highly recommend L'Oreal and this is actually a little bit cheaper than the Essie polishes and I love Essie polishes but Essie chips on me within the first two days maybe even the first day Moving along, that was a very long-winded explanation. Who's texting me? Rude. Can you see I'm filming? No, you can't, but that's okay. Um, moving along to the Revlon Lipstick Liquid Matte Collection in HD. These are my two favorites. I do finally own the collection now, which is awesome. I really like this color Seduction, and then the color that is on my lips today is Passion. So... As you can see, passion is what's on, but we're going to touch it up. These are really, really nice. Um, some of them are fruity, and some of them are more vanilla. So, love, love, love these. They dry down with about maybe 15 seconds to 30 seconds, just to kind of depending. 
and I just think they're phenomenal. They last while you eat and drink and all of that good stuff. Um, obviously you're probably going to have to reapply it if you are eating, but for the most part they stay. They don't really go and smudge all over your face like a lot of them do. And the only downside is that they can leave your lips quite drying. So make sure that you put on a lip balm before applying this and apply one after. So here's a swatch of the color Seduction. It's more of a rose nudie pink. Basically the same color as my nails to be honest. Um, so if you're looking for a dupe, Revlon HD in Seduction, L'Oreal's Julianne's Nude. This is the nail polish not the lipstick, but the the colors are pretty much identical as you can see. Ta -da! So yeah, there you go. They're around the same price though. Both of them are drugstore. Next, I have this lipstick right here. This is by Maybelline. Are you Maybelline? I don't know. Yes, you're Maybelline. Hallelujah. This is called Touch of Spice. And this is a really pretty pink color. And I actually was inspired to get this color because I watched Emily Canahan. Is that how you pronounce her last name? Canahan or Canahan? I'm sorry. I don't have the name right in front of me, but I watch her channel. She is one of my favorite YouTubers actually right now, so favorite of the month is Emily. Check out her channel. I will link her below. I do not know her, but I think she's awesome. So that's my YouTuber choice. And she recommended that lipstick. She was wearing it, and I just thought it was beautiful, so I went and got the same color. I'm a copycat. It's okay. Next up we have the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF. I am out in the sun all the time you guys. I'm a dog walker so I need my SPF. This is a moisturizer and SPF in one so it's fantastic. Doesn't leave my skin feeling all greasy and gross and I can just put it on and then put my foundation on right over it. It is non-comedogenic. Did I say that right? which means it won't clog your pores. Hallelujah! So that's a huge yes win. Then, going along with the face treatments, I have the Pura Dior, Pura Dior. It's probably Pura Dior, but you'll see in that video when I do the uh, entire review of this that I probably butchered the name. But this is the Argan Oil. Put a little bit of this on your face and it leaves, leaves it nice and soft and refreshed and just gets rid of any blemishes. It has no chemicals. It's from southwestern Morocco and it's good on your hair and nails. I've used it in my hair. Helps make it nice and soft and I really like it. Then we have the Revlon. Revlon is just winning, guys. They're winning. This is the Dramatic Definition Lashes. Now this month I had my lashes tinted so I haven't really been using too much mascara. These are my natural lashes for those wondering. So we are just going to put some mascara on. And my lashes are actually very, very long to begin with, but can we see the difference? Look at that. Whoa. Instant dramatic lashes. So if you're looking for a good mascara, I highly recommend this one. Um, I have the red one, which I believe is the all-in-one mascara, and it's brilliant as well. Uh, I find it very difficult to find mascara that doesn't clamp, clump, clamp, clump my lashes together, and Revlon is doing quite well in that department, as well as Bobbi Brown. But for a cheaper end version, because really you're supposed to throw away your mascaras every three months. Yeah, you should. Doesn't mean that we always do, but you're supposed to. Uh, get a Revlon one. You can find them at the drugstore. And a drugstore Fabuliner Bold Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner Jordana. As you can see, it looks like a Sharpie marker. Makes it really, really easy to control and just draw your little wing. It's amazing how we feel prettier by drawing a line on our eyelids with a marker. But what can you do? So, going along with the eye theme that we've got going, my birthday gift from Sephora was Marc Jacobs Mini Lipstick, right here, and 
this little guy right here, which is an amazing eyeliner. If I don't stab myself in the eye. So that's what that looks like. And I think I just left a little piece up there. Oops. Um, so there's the eyeliner, which is wonderful. And the little mini lipstick in this softer pink color right here, which is really nice. Focus camera. Focus on the lipstick. There you go. That's what that one looks like. And our last product, Revlon! Surprise! This is the cream shadow. It has four colors. It has a gold, a reddish pink, a green, and a blue. And I have not used green and blue yet, but I have used the other two, and they are wonderful! Wonderful, wonderful. Like the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And all you do is just put them right above your eyes. Did I do that okay? Yeah, it's not too bad. So, there we have it. Really nice, goes on super easy, and I like these a lot. So that's all of my favorites, other than my favorite movie, which is Zootopia for this month. It was great, loved it. Uh, Judy Hopps is hilarious. I think she's a cute little bunny. And my favorite song, yeah. Let's go with Wicked, because I saw Wicked in New York, and I haven't been able to stop singing it since. So the entire Wicked soundtrack but currently, as of this week, I've been listening to Dancing Through Life quite a bit. That one would be my favorite. So, hope you guys enjoyed this wild, random mess of uh, products and favorites and all of that nonsense. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And they just have these amazing sparkle bling on the back. And as you can see, I wore them for my uh, murder mystery party.